हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ फ्लोटिंग कार मेथड क्वेश्चन इज गिवन एज द कंसोलिडेटेड डेटा कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम स्पीड एंड डिले स्टडी बाय फ्लोटिंग कार मेथड ऑन अ स्ट्रेच ऑफ अर्बन रोड ऑफ लेंथ 3.5 किलोमीटर रनिंग नॉर्थ साउथ आर गिवन बिलो डिटरमाइन द एवरेज वैल्यू ऑफ वॉल्यूम जर्नी स्पीड एंड रनिंग स्पीड ऑफ द ट्रैफिक स्ट्रीम अलॉन्ग आदर डायरेक्शन नाउ इन दिस टेबल डायरेक्शन ऑफ ट्रिप जर्नी टाइम डिले टाइम एंड नंबर ऑफ व्हीकल इज गिवन नाउ फॉर नॉर्थ साउथ द जर्नी टाइम इज सिक्स मिनट थर्टी सेकेंड डिले टाइम इज वन मिनट थर्टी सेकेंड एंड नंबर ऑफ व्हीकल दैट इज ओवरटेकिंग इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव ओवरटेकन इज फाइव एंड द अपोजिट इज टू सेवेंटी टू सिमिलरली फॉर साउथ नॉर्थ इज रिटर्न हेयर नाउ वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्टली वी विल सॉल्व फॉर north south direction then after we will solve for south north direction now for north south direction now tw is equals to that is the journey time will be equals to 6 minute and 30 seconds so it will be equals to 6.5 minutes similarly ta will be equals to the journey time of opposite direction that is 7 minute and 36 seconds so it will be equals to 7.6 minutes ny will be equals to number of overtaking vehicle minus number of overtaken vehicle then it will be equals to 3.5 minus 5 this value comes out as 1.5 similarly na will be equals to number of vehicle traveling in the same direction which will be given by the fourth observer of the opposite side that is 179 now we have to determine the flow in terms of vehicle per minute so it will be equals to q that is na plus ny upon tw plus ta on putting the value of na as 179 on putting the value of ny as minus 1.5 on putting the value of tw as 6.5 and ta as 7.6 this q will be equals to 12.58 vehicle per minute now we have to determine the journey time therefore journey time t bar will be equals to tw minus ny upon q now tw is given in the question which will be equals to 6.5 minus ny value will be equals to minus 1.5 and q will be equals to 12.58 on solving this we will have journey time equals to 6. 62 minutes that is the journey time t bar now we have to determine the running time and we know that running time will be equals to journey time minus delay now journey time is equals to 6.62 minute and delay for north south direction is 1 minute 30 second so we have to subtract here 1.5 minute on solving this we will have the running time equals to 5.12 minutes similarly we have to determine the journey speed it will be equals to length of travel that is 3.5 km so we have to convert this in meter by multiplying it with 10 to the power 3 and we have to divide this by journey time that is 6.62 minute but we want answer in terms of seconds so we have to multiply here 60 and it will be equals to 8.81 meter per second now we have to determine the value of running speed running speed will be equals to length of travel that is 3.5 km so 3.5 into 10 to the power 3 now for calculation of running speed we have to divide it by running time which will be equals to 5.12 minute but we want answer in terms of second so we need to multiply here 60 and this will comes out as 11.39 meter per second that will be the journey speed and the running speed now we have to solve this for south to north direction that is for south to north direction now tw will be equals to 7.6 minutes ta will be equals to 6.5 minutes ny will be equals to 3 minus 2 equals to 1 na will be equals to 272 which is given by the fourth observer of the opposite side so we have to determine the value of q which will be equals to na plus ny upon tw plus ta on putting the value of na as 272 ny as 1 tw as 
and TA as 6.5. On solving this, we will have the value of Q equals to 19.36 vehicle per minute. That will be the value of Q. Now we have to determine the value of journey time. Journey time T bar will be equals to 7.6 minus NY upon Q that is 1 upon 19.36. It will be equals to 7.548 minutes. Now we have to determine the value of running time. Running time will be equals to journey time minus delay and journey time will be equals to 7.548 minutes minus delay will be equals to 1.96 minute. On solving this, we will have the running time equals to 5.58 minutes. Now we have to determine the value of journey speed. Journey speed will be equals to length of travel that is 3.5 kilometer. So we have to convert it in meter dividing it by the journey time that is 7.548 into 60 because we want answer in terms of second so it will be equals to 7.72 meter per second similarly we have to determine the value of running speed running speed will be equals to 3.5 into 10 to the power 3 and we need to divide it by running time that is 5.58 into 60 on solving this we will have 10.45 meter Per second. That is the complete solution of this numerical. Thank you very much students.